All right, guys, I wanted to make another quick video and show you what I've been up to as a neat little project I built here. When things like this give you trouble every day, uh, sometimes you gotta distract yourself with something else uh, that will not make you feel like a piece of shit at the end of the day. Like something like this will really bring your spirits down. So it's nice to have like a little side project to distract yourself and get your mind off of how annoying something else can be. I built this because I'm getting into more stock computer stuff as I go and as I learn more. I have uh, HP tuners and that's what I tune with as most of you know. So I built this like a uh, little flasher interface here. These are stock computers for Silverados and I took an outdoor light box I had laying around. Some might recognize this from the turbo truck. This is what we use to switch the tunes and the transmission on the turbo truck. And I got a blue pin out from a junkyard. You only need the blue and I connected all my wires and did everything else inside here. This is all fused. This is a power supply from some piece of junk I recuperated at work. It's just 12 volts and 3 amps and I have it going into here and we I have two power switches here. This is 12 volt power and this is ECU on because the OBD2 port it gets funny if you just power it on directly I think. I like being able to switch the ignition on and off uh, while everything else has power. So this is plugged into the wall this goes power in here, uh, this plugs into the computer, everything else, and you basically, when you do this, it gives the computer the constant power, and it powers the OBD2 port, and then you jam this guy in there, and then you turn on the computer with the uh, household switch, and now the computer is on, and if you actually go into HP tuners and you hit, like, start scanning, dun -dun -dun, you'll see it connects, and then I have it, uh, that's just voltage, 12 volts up there. And then you can see from the information window here that it's reading everything on the stock ECU. Pretty cool. Right there, Silverado V8 2000. And then if you close out of this, you open up the scanner, you can hit read VCM. And if you hit begin, you'll see it does everything else normally too. 2000 Silverado V8. Oh yeah, it says this every now and then when you disconnect and reconnect, it's normal. But it'll actually go in there and start downloading the stock computer and then you can modify it and everything else. We'll wait a couple seconds and I'll show you. Requesting high speed mode. Doo, doo, doo. And then yeah, you can download the tunes here and reflash all from the bench and check out the computers and everything. It's pretty neat. It's working out pretty nice, nice and neat. This way if I get a bunch of computers I can check them before I have to deal with them and I don't have to hook them up to my car or rip them out of the car or anything else. So, thought you might enjoy that. Some of you are into that electronics shit. Have a good one.